Hi, my name is Flo. Hi, I'm Simon. We are from the Bad and Terrence crew. And this is our recap from a job we did in Denmark for CEP. Yeah, using the new Web360. We're going to talk about features of the camera, mounting possibilities, and how to produce professional 360 videos with the Web360. What we really like on this camera is that it's very lightweight. That means we have a lot of possibilities to mount this camera, for example, on a drone or on a cable cam. We have this custom-built um, small cable cam. We're using two cameras on this cable cam setup. Two have uh, one camera pointed upwards towards the sky. So when we're shooting with the lower camera, we have the cable cam in the stitch and we can use the sky as a replacement. So we're going to stitch three lenses actually. What we used at this shop was, and this is really cool, a small drone. We had 3D printed uh, mount, one at the bottom and one on top, so that in post we can stitch those two together to get um, one stitched image. We can also use it on, a, on some kind of a monopod. We're going to do a handheld shot and you're going to hold the tripod like this and try to balance the camera, like hold it a little bit up and try to balance the camera while you're running. We grab up some filming lights out of our van and put them somewhere there, because I think it's not in the shot, to have more light on our talents. So we use some additional lighting here because indoors it's always nice to have some more light. The important thing is like to set up the light in a position where it's not in the 360 view. So for example behind an object like this treadmill, like right here, you could set it up if you have the camera right there. Next thing we want to do is talk about the key features of this small little camera. You have pro options. You can set an ISO limit to different kinds of picture profiles. You can pre-adjust the sharpness. You can do the white balance. You have auto exposure, lock on or off. You can adjust the exposure of the two lenses. Another very cool feature, as you can see here, is the HDMI output. Means you can have an already stitched live preview. You can also stream live stream to YouTube in 360. There's also a 4K spherical stabilization inside. Means for movement shots, it's very handy. The verb itself also got stabilization. If you shoot in 4K, you have like the possibility to um, use the Garmin web edit stabilization also already on the phone. You can charge it uh, with a USB or a V-mount. Um, it has spatial audio, it has four microphones, so you already have like a 360 sound just with this camera. Geometrics, it's basically um, metadata that the camera records. It's got a lot of sensors in it. You get speed, you get altitude, you get elevation, you get g-force, and you can also connect it uh, to a heart rate monitor, for example, the one of the Phoenix. It's really cool because in post you can add the geometrics as overlays and you can put them on a certain spot in the video. You can export from the web edit app geometrics as PNG overlays with Alpha Channel. The waterproof feature is amazing for us. You can hold it underwater, you don't need any extra housing for it, it's just waterproof like that. The GoPro Omi is a very high-end um, 360 rig, but it's heavy compared yeah. to the web. If you're um, shooting in a small space, like the cockpit of a small plane, it's pretty cool um, to use this one because it has two lenses, but it also um, has two modes of stitching, a near and a far stitching method. For us, I think it's the most usable two-lens 360 camera on the market right now. Yes, Simon, I think it's 7.40 and our plane leaves tomorrow at 5, so... Guys, yeah. we have to leave. <laughs>